Hello everyone, my name is Putu Gendra Kanadima Putri. I'm fifth grade from SD Maharika Den Pasar. Right now, I would like to tell you a story from Bali, which is Kebo Iwe. So, a long time ago, in Bali, lived a wealthy couple. They had been married for a long time, but they were childless. They prayed every day to the God to give them a child. After a long wait, their prayer was answered. The wife gave birth to a big and healthy baby boy. They named the baby Kabu Iwa. Since the baby was born, it was so strange that the baby could already eat adult's food. His parents feed him with rice, vegetables, and meat. As Kabu Iwa grew up, his appetite also increased. In time, his parents' reaches were all used up to feed him. Kabo Iwo's parents then begged the villagers to feed Kabo Iwo. Years passed. Kabo Iwo grew into a huge and strong young man. He could dig a well with his large and sturdy hands. When he walked, he took large steps. The villagers continued to feed him. In gratitude, Kabo Iwo protect his village from bandits. The villagers fought Kabo Iwa. Because of the speed of his appetite, Kabo Iwa became a kind herd and a strong young man. The news of Kabo Iwa strength reached the ears of the king of Bali. All this time, Bali was threatened by the kingdom of Majapahit. Under their best tactician and vice jurant, Pati Gajamada. He is so famous with his Palapa oaths, in which he swore to conquer all of the Nusantara, the archipelago of Indonesia that is including Bali. The kingdom then invited Kabo Iwo to the palace and told him about the problem that the kingdom was facing. In front of the king, he made a note. I swore, as long as I live, I will not let Bali be covered by any other kingdom. And with that oath he made, he became the vice jurant of Bali. He is true to his word. Since he became the vice jurant of Bali, he will attack anyone who attacked Bali. Soon after, Pati Gajamada, the vice jurant, of Majapahit heard of Kobo Iwa's greatness. He realized that he would lose if he attacked Bali. Therefore, Pati Gajamada proposed peace between Bali and Majapahit. Kobo Iwa was invited to Majapahit and Gajamada promised to marry him with a beautiful princess of Majapahit. Accordingly, Kobo Iwa came to Jaffa Island. Gajamada treated him nicely and helped feast in his honor. In the middle of the feast, Gajamada asked, We are having a drought here. Let water. I heard you are very powerful. Would you help us to build a well in short time? Of course, said the unsuspecting Kabo Iwa. Gajamada then lead Kabo Iwa to a vast cleaning and told him to build the well there. Seeing a large number of troops, Kabo Iwa began to be suspicious of Gajamada. However, Kabo Iwa continued to build the well. When Kabo Iwa was deep inside the well, Gajamada instructed his troops to bury him with rocks. When Kabo Iwa buried in the well, Kajamada exclaimed victory! Kabo Iwa had died! Now we can conquer Bali! But suddenly, he heard a rumbling sound from the buried well. The 
rocks flew to every direction, and Kubo Iwa reached out from the well. No, I'm not the dead, Gajal Mada. You are a traitor, shouted Kubo Iwa. A long battle followed. Gajal Mada and his troops fought against the mighty Kubo Iwa. In the midst of the battle, Gajal Mada shouted, I can see your vision of the Santara will bring good to my kingdom. But as you have your oats, I have mine. Take a piece of limestone and smear the powder up on my forehead. I will become weak so you can kill me. Gajamada, who had magical power, took a piece of limestone from the nearest mountain, slashed it, and smeared the powder up on Kabuto's forehead. True to his word, Kabuto became weak. Gajamada could easily defeat Kabo Iwa. Promise me you will bring God to Bali, gasped Kabo Iwa with his last breath. Gajamada promised. Thus fell the mightiest hero, the protector and viceroy of Bali, who gave up his life to bring good to his kingdom. And soon, Pati Gajamada conquered Bali and went on to unite the island of Nusanta. So guys, the moral of the story is, if you have a promise, you have to keep it. Bye-bye!